In Southern California, one of our most valuable resources is the ocean. Keeping the ocean clean and free from pollutants is a goal shared by Southern California Edison and most that live here. This program describes a new way to reach that goal by safely dewatering underground vaults. Within Southern California Edison Service Territory, there are nearly 400,000 underground vaults. These vaults are often filled with water, as most Edison crews know from experience. Water may collect due to landscape irrigation, storm water inflow, seepage, or from groundwater or adjacent storm drains. Prior to performing any maintenance or equipment installation, these vaults must be dewatered. Safety requirements demand nothing less. Water levels in a vault can range from a few inches deep to completely full. And depending on the size of the vault, water volume can range anywhere from a few hundred gallons to thousands of gallons. Currently, vault dewatering can be both a very time-consuming and expensive process using a vacuum truck to pump the water out, or potentially polluted water could be discharged directly into storm drains. Southern California Edison has developed a new technology called the filter sock to assist with the underground vault dewatering process. By attaching the filter sock at the discharge end of a hose that is fastened to a submersible sump pump, this device can trap many pollutants that exist in vault water. This process allows many vaults with minor contamination to be dewatered without the use of a vacuum truck. The filter sock only allows clean water to pass through and enter the stormwater system. The filter sock is fully compliant with both regional water quality control standards and the state utility vault discharge general permit. The video you are about to see will explain this process in detail. If you have any questions while using this device, please contact your Edison environmental specialist in your area. Thank you. All right, Louie, what we're going to need is uh, cones, chalk, flag, and then we'll have a mini tailboard at the back of the truck when we're done with that. Roger. Don't forget your hard hat. If you want to put this up front, I'll get the rest. Thank you. All right, Louie, I think we can start our tailboard now. Okay. Louie, the purpose of the job today is to get this hole ready for a new run that's coming in. Don't forget all your PPE today. Let's work safe. Uh, let's get that hole open and get ready to work. The first step in dewatering is to analyze the vault water. A visual inspection will tell you if there is oil sheen or discolored water inside the vault. Thank you. The baler is prepared and dropped into the water. Louie, why don't you get the filter sock bucket? Okay. When the water is collected, the baler is removed for examination. Based on the color of the water sample and the amount of oil evident in the baler, a decision is made whether to call a vacuum truck or if a filter sock can be used to dewater the vault. If the water sample from the vault appears clear, with no sediment and no oil sheen, it can be discharged to the storm drain without a filter sock. If the water is slightly cloudy or discolored, with light sediment or minimal oil sheen, use the filter sock while discharging the water to the storm drain. If the water sample is more like the sample shown here, very cloudy with excessive amounts of sediment, rust, or oil, it is severely contaminated. Call your safety and environmental specialist or supervisor to dispatch a vacuum truck to the vault location. Finally, if you're in doubt about the level of contamination, contact your safety and environmental specialist. Clean the gutter of debris so water will flow unimpeded into the storm drain. Unroll the hose towards the downgrade 
close to the storm drain. Inspect the pump hose thoroughly, checking for any cracks, rips, or holes where contaminated water could leak out. To use the filter sock, remove it from the plastic pail and attach it to the end of the hose coming out of the electric or hydraulic pump. If the hose doesn't fit the two inch sock, use an adapter to secure the sock tightly before pumping begins. The truck should be on idle to control the flow of the water and pump at a rate of 100 to 150 gallons per minute. The system can become overpressurized if the truck does not run at the idle speed of the engine. Any time, Ted. Hi to you. Hi to me. Keep the pump above the level of the sediment to pump the water out of the vault. Turn on the pump and maintain visual inspection at all times of the filter sock. The four layer filter sock efficiently removes sediment rust and oil from water. Water coming out of the filter sock should be clear. If the saturation is heavily oil based, water won't go through the filter. Using the filter sock changes vault water to a degree that not only meets but exceeds required water quality standards. As the sock fills with sediment, the flow rate will slow down. One filter sock should be sufficient for most dewatering jobs. The difference before and after filtering is remarkable. By using this system, we can reduce by 90% the amount of pollutants entering our ocean and other surface water. Each filter sock can remove up to three gallons of oil. To prove the point, take a look at the study results achieved during the field test of this system. The results illustrate the removal of various pollutants. The red bar shows the water in its raw state. The green bar shows fully filtered water. The fully filtered water had non-detectable levels, so the percent of removal is effectively over 90% for oil and grease and total suspended solids, or TSS. It's dry, Ted. All right, why don't you pull it out of the hole and I'll get ready to turn it off. Roger. When dewatering is complete, disconnect the hose from the pump and roll the hose toward the sock to force remaining water through the sock. Disconnect the sock from the hose and place it in its black plastic pail. Seal the bucket cover and return it to the service center. Place the used filter sock in a 55 gallon drum. The service center can then use normal waste handling procedures to dispose of the used filter sock. Recycle the bucket according to your service center's recycling program. Southern California Edison's new tool for dewatering underground utility vaults has been researched, developed, and field tested by Corporate Environmental Health and Safety in conjunction with the Transmission and Distribution Business Unit. Filter socks are available and material coated. Field crews should maintain an ample supply of filter socks in their vehicles. This technology not only saves time and money, it will enrich Southern California Edison's compliance program and contribute a great deal to the clean water standards we want to share with our friends, neighbors, and families throughout the Edison Territory. In short, the filter sock combines ease of use, cost effectiveness, and environmental responsibility. Southern California Edison's innovative use of the filter sock sets a high standard as best management practice in the utility industry. It will deliver both economic and environmental benefits. This is just one example of Edison's commitment to leading the way in electricity. Thank you for watching.